Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today, Vancouver snowed for the very first time. Maybe it's like snowed a little bit before, but this is like the first heavy snowfall. I feel like we actually got quite a bit of snow, like 10 centimeters or so. I was helping my dad shovel snow, so that's why my hair is a little bit wet and it just looks like I just showered because I did because shoveling snow is hard freaking work. Like I was sweating like crazy. Yeah, that was pretty much all I did today. Also, I installed a mini chandelier for my room. I know it's so so extra. I don't even live in Vancouver really, but I'm gonna be here for a while. I've actually had that chandelier from a really, really long time ago. I just never got motivated to put it up. I also just came from getting a wax, also went to the liquor store. So I am now on my way to BC Liquor because we're gonna pick up some drinks for tonight for me and Teresa's YouTube video. So I am gonna give this a try because apparently it's like the next hottest thing or trendiest thing right now because there's zero sugar. I don't know, I think we're gonna try this for tonight's video and yeah. It was so funny because when I was at my wax, the girl was just like, are you an influencer? Typically, I like really strike up a conversation. Yeah, like I do like vlogging or whatever because I had the camera with me. But because I was just so self-aware and vulnerable at that time because she's literally seen my, you know, like hoo-ha down there. If you kind of talk about it and like extend the conversation, obviously they're like super nice and they're like, what's your Instagram? Man, I don't know how I feel about just like knowing for a fact that you know what my down there looks like, you know? Props to everyone who like works a job where you see people, whether you're an OBGYN, whether you wax people. I don't know, like I can't even look at my own. The other day, I actually looked at my Yoni as per too hot to handles term. I actually pulled up a mirror for the first time in my life. I don't know if it's just, it's not because I don't love my body. I just can't look at it for too long. Does anyone know what I'm saying? Oh my God. Thank God the car drives itself. Okay, next thing I was going to say is if you guys have been listening to the podcast, one thing that Teresa and I have been kind of talking about is just whether or not we should add kind of like a segment towards either the beginning or the end about our life updates. Because I feel like besides from episode one, where we kind of talk about our dating situation, where there was that one guy that we kind of both talked to at the same time, there hasn't been any new updates because we always just like focus so hard on the topic. So if you guys think we should talk about like our updated dating lives, more like it's just kind of me. And it's not that I'm like dating all the time, even just like guys that you talk to, you know what I mean? Even if I'm not necessarily like seeing anybody in real life, it's more just like guys that you like end up talking to or whatever. Or if we should do something like what Call Her Daddy does, which is kind of like a question and answer thing. Yesterday, I went on kind of like a social distancing date. So it was at a restaurant and we were like eating across from each other, but the table was white, big. We were pretty distanced. Everything we got, like we did not touch each other or each other's food. So I felt like that was pretty safe. We got like two entrees and we just got the kitchen to pre-split it in the kitchen so we could still like try the different entrees without having to like do it family style. Even when we hugged, we hugged with like a mask on and kind of like avoided each other's face. And then I like came home and sanitized everything, obviously. That was really nice. I don't know if like people care to hear about these updates, but let me know. Now that I'm already out, I'm actually making my way to Metro Town. I actually freaking hate going to Metro Town. But the thing is I pre-ordered an iPhone case for pickup because delivery was going to be so much longer. So I had to do the pickup option because I'm kind of tired of my iPhone case. The iPhone case that I have right now, it's just like the clear one. Aesthetically looks really nice, but because it's like hard plastic, it's been literally sliding off and just falling everywhere. I caved and got the expensive ass MagSafe Apple iPhone case in leather. And the colors this time are also so shit. I had to get black because none of the other colors appealed to me at all. I wish they had come out with like a beige leather. Wouldn't that be nice? Or like gray or something nicer. I usually go for their silicone cases, which I also have here because I have two phones. I know I'm like actually insane. 
So this is what I usually get. They don't have that shade of pink anymore. And I usually get that in like all my new iPhones. I got it for my iPhone 7. I got it for the X. And then I was going to get the pink one again for this one. But they didn't even have it. So I was like, hey, fuck that. I'll get the leather. Good thing my friend Richard, shout out to Richard. He works at Apple. So he was able to get me a discount. It's still expensive, but it wasn't what it was before. I think it was like close to 100 before. But now I'm paying like 60 bucks. So I'm going to go pick that one up. And I will show you guys the case later. I don't think I'm going to stay at the mall for too long because like I said, Metro Town on the weekend, nobody's fucking stays at home. Everyone goes to the mall and it's just actually brutal. I don't like to stay at the mall for a very long time. However, I actually think there might be less people because it's snowing. So who really wants to come out right now? I only did because I had a waxing appointment, you know? Other than that, I will take you guys to Metro Town. I'm actually surprised at how long I can blab for. I think I literally talked for like 10 minutes minutes straight non-stop anyway i literally legally need to change my name because i'm so tired of not having my name match up and then literally i can't even pick up a phone case because it's under lisa and not my legal chinese name which is in all of my ids anyway as i was saying i do not think that i can pick up the case today so i will oh perfect richard changed it thank god so i am finally at Teresa's, hey. and we are actually <laughs> going to film a youtube video as you guys saw from earlier in the vlog where i picked up the wine and as you guys can see i can actually actually did my face in the end so we're just getting set up right now and i'm so excited for you guys to watch basically the idea of this youtube video is we're gonna be daring each other on tinder or it doesn't have to be tinder it can like, be like literally any dating platform yeah like, i have to also make a tinder because i don't even have a tinder so yeah so we'll that. we'll do that it's gonna be like on tinder bumble whatever and then we're gonna dare each other to either like like someone or <laughs> talk to them and we're gonna dictate what we're gonna say yes ah okay i'm so excited okay so you guys have to watch the youtube video <laughs> subscribe to our sister's account because i will no longer be posting the sister's material on my account anymore so make sure you guys follow us on youtube there's gonna be juicier stuff on the sister's account so make sure you follow yeah i feel like <laughs> there's a lot of scandy stuff that i don't really you know let loose on this channel so make sure you follow that account okay bye hi guys today is valentine's day so happy valentine's day actually i'm gonna continue this while I'm driving one second yesterday Teresa and I filmed a couple of YouTube videos actually what am I talking about just one YouTube video after filming a while we decided that we were going to challenge ourselves and get a Valentine's Day date we aren't actually because we are each other's Valentine's Day date this video is super hilarious I really encourage you guys to watch it because I was actually dying we were just messaging each other's old matches okay today is February we were messaging matches from like august and just basically saying hey do you have a date for valentine's day tomorrow anyway it was just really extreme spoiler most of them said yes so really it's not that hard to get a last minute valentine's day date guys not just that but one of the guys actually we didn't end up recording this but one of the guys that Teresa had messaged on behalf of me this guy lives in california and for some reason i don't know what we got ourselves into maybe i was just really really drunk actually i wasn't I don't know what got into us, but now I'm having a FaceTime date with that person on Monday. He actually asked for tonight since I originally, or like I, as in Teresa, originally asked to hang out today, but I'm busy today on Valentine's Day. Okay, single girl got things to do. Instead, we're having our FaceTime date tomorrow. Also, I don't know if you can see behind me, it is snowing a crap ton and the snowflakes are fat ass. Like they're literally so fat, especially in Vancouver, like in Toronto. Oh, no, this is just like whatever normal but like I have to remind myself when it's snowing that I'm actually in Vancouver the plan for today for me and Teresa is that I'm actually arriving to her house pretty late actually technically I'm arriving to her house on time but late from what we had adjusted our plan to but we are gonna do some filming and then more for the podcast and then we're going to enjoy our Valentine's Day we're gonna go to Cactus Club for happy hour and FYI me and Teresa are like obsessed with happy hour at cactus club i know it's like super super basic but like it's just something that we really really enjoy actually i think i got her hooked onto it because she was like it about it before and now we go like thrice a week i will 
vlog in a little bit when I see you guys or when I go to Teresa's, but in the meantime, I will talk to you later. We are heading to Cactus to celebrate Valentine's slash Galentine's Day. Yay! So stoked. We just called Cactus, made a last minute a rezzo. They took us in. Yeah, so I think much. they understand that we're alone. <laughs> we're like, please? It's just two girls. We're single. We're small. You can fit us in. <laughs> Teresa's dad, before we left her house, he was just like, Lisa, it's oh Valentine's Day. Don't you have a date? I'm like, Teresa's so my nosy. date. <laughs> Why are Asian parents like this? <laughs> He's just like, you're at my house every day. Do you Literally. not see her enough? <laughs> what are you gonna order? I feel like we know the menu pretty truffle well. Fries, oh my God, truffle sure. fries, I'm trying to Should we get Bellini's? <laughs> yes. Oh my God, I didn't realize how much sugar there was in a Bellini. Oh yeah, there's that... so much sugar. It's like a Slurpee. It basically is like a Slurpee. Should I get something else then? Oh, you can get what I typically get. Vodka soda with a dash of Bellini. Oh, I forget yes. what it's called. Uh, I usually just get their bellini because that's like the best thing to drink here. Yeah. Say hi! <laughs> hey. We're eating but we're also still working. We this are. Is so funny. We are. We're working too hard. So I got this frozen <laughs> sangria thing and this is actually bomb. <laughs> Teresa is actually like, she's super <laughs> lightweight. She <laughs> drank <laughs> half of that and she's like done. I don't understand. <laughs> The music here is lit, the food here is lit. lit. Yeah. I'm feeling it. Meanwhile, there's like children here. 